Okay, today I just want to do is show you how to flash uh, the pre-release official uh, Jelly Bean 4.3, Android 4.3 to your Samsung Galaxy Note. And this will be specifically for the AT&T version, the i317. So what I want to do is show you how to get to... how to get to this point right here okay so first thing we need to do uh, before anything is you need to connect your phone to your computer I've already got that okay and so on your phone you're gonna have your card and your your phone storage so the the method that we're about to use to upgrade to 4.3, everything on your phone storage is going to be wiped. It's going to be erased. So anything that you have on your phone storage in this folder in your phone, make sure you back up anything in there that is valuable to you. Okay, DCIM, that's where your camera stuff is going to be, where pictures are at. Make sure you have all of that backed up. Anything in this folder you want to save, back it up. So, I mean, the easiest way to do that is just to open it up here on your computer and then just drop this over onto your desktop and just copy it there and then just put it back after you get done with this process. Because all of this stuff will be wiped whenever we're done with this. Okay, I'm just trying to make that, make that real clear. So, all the stuff that I've downloaded, I've got it saved into a folder here and then I'll just put it back onto my phone memory uh, whenever we're done. Okay, so let me show you the link for where we're going to get this one click Odin. Sorry, I forgot to get to this web page. I'm going to have to get over here real quick. Okay, and I'll put a link in the description to um, to this thread here over on XDA. I believe this is over on about page 23, somewhere in the neighborhood. I'll get you the post number. Okay, so... Right here, post number 226 over here on this thread on XDA. This is where Design Gears had originally leaked this over to XDA for the i317. So it's what you want to do is here on post number 226, this guy says one click file here, that's what you want, it is from this mega.co.nz. So you're going to click on that, and it's going to take you over here to this mega website, and you're going to have to download this file. It's a pretty big file. I think it's, uh, I can't remember exactly that big. I think it's a little bit over a gigabyte. So a pretty big file. It's going to take a little bit to download that. Yeah, 1.07 gigabyte. So you want to download that to your computer. Okay, I've already got it downloaded and I've already got it right here. So you're going to have to do that. That's going to take a while to get that done. Then we'll get back over here to this, to the next part of this process. Okay, now I'm already on 4.3. It doesn't matter if you're on 4.12 or 4.3. I mean, if you're on 4.12, it's going to work out the exact same way. Okay, so go ahead and make sure your phone's unplugged. Again, make sure before you go through this process that you've backed up your memory. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and completely power my phone off. And so what we want to do is we want to boot up into our download mode. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so my phone's completely dead. All right, so, well, yeah, let me go ahead and do this. So push, you're going to hold power down, push the home button, and then push the power button. All three of those. So power down, home, and power I'm sorry, volume down, home, and power, bring you to here, and then we want to continue with this. Okay, so we're in our downloading mode now. 
Okay, now over here on my computer, I'm going to open up this one click and open this up um, before you um, before you plug this in. And uh, I forgot to say, I think whenever you download this from here, I believe it saves it as a .zip. So you're going to have to extract that first. So you're just going to open up that .zip and then just bring that file out of that. Put it on your desktop like what I've got here. Okay, and mine's working on opening that up now. I kind of hesitated to make this video because it was kind of a pre-release deal and didn't know if it, you know, if it was going to have any problems or not. But um, I've been running on this on this release for I don't know, maybe a, a little over a week now, maybe. And there's been a lot of people who have used it, and there's not been any any real problems with with this pre-release. So um, I feel fairly comfortable with this. But always realize that um, you know when you're doing this, you're kind of going outside of the out of sight of Samsung, what what they intended, because this is a you know a pre-release leak. So um, take care with with any of this stuff that you do. I don't know why this is taking so long. There we go. Okay, so that's open. My phone's in download mode. So what I'm gonna do now is plug in my phone. You can hear it connected there, and then you can see right here it shows that it's now reading my phone on a port. If you don't have this, uh, then you probably don't have the drivers installed. So you'll need to um, install the proper drivers for your for your phone to be able to be recognized by your computer. Okay, so uh, that's already good. So all I'm gonna do is push start. Once I push start, I can't go back. It's gonna it's gonna flash this 4.3, and whenever I do that again, remember it's gonna wipe the memory of your phone. Um, so actually. I forgot to do this. I'm not sure if it does this or not. Okay, it's it's in download mode right now. Before I push start on that, I'm gonna pull my my SD card out. I don't know if it wipes the SD card or not. I've, I haven't ever seen whether they say it does or not, but I'm just gonna pull mine to be safe because if it wipes my SD card, then I am gonna be in trouble. So I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna take the the SD card out. Let me get back into download mode here real quick. Okay, volume down, power. I mean, volume down, home, and power. Okay, volume up. Plug it back in. Okay. So I got my little SD card out. I don't want that in there. I don't know if it wipes it or not, but I just want to be sure it's not going to. All right, so we're at it again. It's reading again, so we're ready to go. I'm gonna push start, and there we go. It's gonna flash this pre-release Android 4.3 to my Galaxy Note 2. Okay, so you can see there it just got finished running that. I didn't time that, but in real time it probably took five to six minutes to go through that complete process there. So it takes a little while for that to go through. Okay, so here on my phone.
Okay, so once that AT and T's uh, splash sc uh, screen came up, it took a little while for all that to eventually go. It probably took close to two minutes there. So once it gets to that AT and T screen, just just be patient because it's going to take a little while. Okay. Okay, just going through all this setup junk here. I'm just trying to get through that. Okay. So as you can see here, on 4.3. Once you go through that process, you'll be on 4.3 now. Uh, I know the launcher I was using was looked different than this Samsung launcher that I started the video on. Um, that's the Android 4.4 launcher that I had on there. Uh, I may make a video about that later, but for today, for this video today, is what I want to do is just show you how to get to this pre-release Android 4.3 for your Galaxy Note 2 on AT&T. Thanks for watching today.